Friday. Happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen. We'll give it a few minutes. We are talking all things selling your home in Staten Island and moving to New Jersey today. We do it every Friday, right? Every Friday, 10 o'clock. Same, same stuff. Same stuff, different Friday, right? Um, let me tell you, I went on a listing appointment yesterday and anybody on here right now, or maybe I'll save this one because it's so important. I went on a listing appointment yesterday and they bought the property. It was a flip. This is very, very important. I don't know why they're a real estate agent. Nobody told them this, but when you buy a property, okay, and the property is a new construction or a renovated property or a flip, any one of those, right? The taxes that you see on the quote unquote MLS or what they say they are, if the property has not been assessed, the taxes are going to skyrocket. And this happened to my homeowners yesterday. Went to their house in New Jersey. Oh, we're gonna list their property, but when they moved in, their taxes went from $6,000 to $12,000, right? Nobody told them that. So I just, I had to start out this whole live session with making sure you knew that if you are buying a property, whether it be new construction, a flip, a renovation, something with a roof rate, any type of property that either the size went big or anything like that, please, 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 please make sure you ask the questions. Has the house got assessed yet? Especially in Jersey because, oh, it's nice. It's only five grand taxes. No, no, no. It's probably double that. And since it's double that, you need to be aware of that for your mortgage payments next year. Not like, you know, the next year. So please, nobody told these, nobody told these the sweet, sweet family that, and we had a, they had a huge problem, okay? There are ways to get around that. Hey girl, there are ways to get around that. Not to not pay it, but you could always call your mortgage company and ask them to take the escrow balance and spread it out over a 60 month term, which would alleviate that, but you can never, ever, 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 ever go under your escrow again or else you have to pay all the back taxes. At least that's for a bank company, um, like certain banks. But please, 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 again, if you're just jumped on here, if you buy a new construction, if you buy a flip, if you buy something renovated, make sure the taxes got assessed. And if they are not assessed yet, ask them what they believe they are going to be. But in your head, I would always add an extra thousand or two or three thousand just because um, these people went up six thousand dollars, right? My taxes went up. When that happened, we knew, we thought, they told us it was going to prorate at a certain number. So we had our expectations at a certain number. And that certain number ended up being $6,000 more than what we were told. Okay. So just, that's very important that you understand that. Hi, I'm Allison Moreau. I am a broker in Staten Island, New York with a dual license in New Jersey. And every single Friday I come on here for a little while and talk to homeowners in Staten Island and answer questions that came along the week and all that fun stuff. So does anybody have any questions now? If not, I'm just gonna kind of go over a lot of questions came in this week, just the differences between Staten Island and New Jersey, like the whole selling process. I have the questions in front of me. If you are thinking about making a move or you want some more information, comment the word connect and you will get my custom simultaneously buying and selling guide. There's videos in there and it's, it could work for anybody, but it's specifically for people from Staten Island Moving to New Jersey, there's a bunch of videos in it. Um, a lot of good information. So again, if anybody has any questions, just feel free to ask them. If not, I am going to start with the questions. Where are we? Okay, so the first question was, like the first set of questions was, what's the differences? We go over this a lot, but, um, so if you heard it before, I'm sorry. I still gotta answer the questions. I get them all the time. So the first question, the closing timelines are different between Staten Island and New Jersey. A typical closing in Staten Island, and don't, I don't wanna hear, oh, but I got closed in 45 days, I got closed in 30. Yes, yeah, sometimes it could happen, great, that's amazing. It's like the rest of the world. But, typical closing in Staten Island is 60 to 90 days, on or about, which means, say your closing date, what's today's date? Is October 25th, right? So if your closing date in Staten Island is October 25th, on or about in the contract, you have 30 days prior, 30 days after. Now that's a big deal. It's a big deal when it comes to people in Jersey, okay? When you have a closing date in Jersey, 
and the clothing date says October 25th, it's more than likely going to be October 25th. Um, they are very, very strict with their timelines, as they should be, but they don't have an honor about. They also don't have a five-day post-possession closing, although I've got it for my clients. Don't ask me how. I had to jump through hoops. I've gotten it a couple times. Sometimes it didn't work. Sometimes it did. Um, in Staten Island, we have something that's called five-day post-possession closing. Where we normally, typically, it goes into the contract, unless otherwise, you know, stated. In Jersey, which means that you can close on your property in Staten Island and still live in it for five days without any fees, without any anything. You do two walkthroughs. You do a walkthrough day of closing, and you do the walkthrough the day of... That when you like exchange keys and then you sign paperwork, yes, everything's great. The house is still standing or no, there's 17 holes because the movers messed up the house, right? There's money held in escrow. And then that money either go, gets dispersed to the seller or the buyer, depending on if there's any issues. Perfect world. There's no issue. The 2,500 or 5,000 gets released back to the seller and you get your keys and you move in. Happy day, right? That five days allows for people to get movers and have like a little bit of time, right? Because when you have money transferring from one house to the next house and you have to move in the next house the same day, how do you get out, right? Apparently there's ways because in Jersey, they rarely allow it. <laughs> so everything gets timed to the T here because of that reason. Now I wanna say I've got it done like eight times, probably eight, I have on like a 50-50 ratio. So let's say I've asked for it 16 times, I've got it done eight, right? Um, they very, very much frown upon it here, okay? So that's one thing that we have to work on when it comes to timelines, definitely. If you're new on here, my name is Allison Moreau. I'm a broker owner in Staten Island, New York with a dual license in New Jersey. I help homeowners in Staten Island buy and sell every single day and make the move out here as I did it myself three times. I know, don't ask, I moved and I built. So it was crazy. Um, I have a simultaneously buying and selling guide Comment the word connect. There's a bunch of videos in it, and it's specifically for Staten Island homeowners moving to New Jersey. Can it work Jersey to Jersey? Absolutely. Can it work California to Jersey? Absolutely. But I make a lot of references in Staten Island in there because that's where I was born and raised. So next, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask them. Um, all right. The contract process. The contract process in Staten Island. We're going to do like, what is it? What do they call it? The five second explanation. So in Staten Island, and this is only in Staten Island, you go look for a house, you put an offer in, you get a, what we call a binder sign. The binder is this piece of paper right here. This is not a binder. It's just a piece of paper with your name, the house information, the price, the terms, agents sign at the bottom, your attorney information here. This paper is worth not a dollar, not 25, not even a penny. All it is, is a piece of paper with information on it stating this is what's happening. It goes to the attorneys and then we do inspections. So you're doing inspections. We have an offer accepted. We do inspections, right? Once the, ins and in Staten Island, the inspections are typically, um, oh my gosh, what are they? A home inspection, a termite inspection. A home inspection consists of roof, siding, plumbing, you know, everything in the house, cosmetic. Um, I have seen sewer inspections. They're not a lot in Staten Island. I think in my career, and I've sold over hundreds and hundreds of homes. I mean, maybe twice. Like there's a couple streets in Tottenville that have it. We're not big on sewers there. There is no radon. We'll get into that for Jersey. Um, what else? Sometimes, I think once I've had a pool inspection and that was actually recently. Um, they don't really open the pools. Pool inspection you could get if you want. Other than that, it's, it's your basic home inspection and your termite, you know, pest control inspection. After that, the, after that inspection phase, then, and this is where everybody gets crazy. I know, I know, it's Staten Island. I didn't know any different until I came to Jersey and I'm in like mastermind groups and everybody else in the world does it differently. Then we go into contract. We negotiate inspections at that moment then you go to your attorney's office and you sign contracts and you put a deposit down. That's when that happens. So until you sign contracts, you have your binder, which is just an offer sheet, right? If maybe that's what people call it, I guess, everywhere else. An offer sheet, um, inspections, and contracts. During this period in between my hands, 
anybody can come in and buy the house right from under your feet. Anybody. Like, say, say, I don't know, you put a million dollars in a house. Somebody else was like, oh my God, I love it. I'm going to give you a million twenty-five. The homeowner's probably going to take a million twenty-five. So, you'll probably lose your inspection money. In good faith, the homeowner should give it back, but that's why it's so crucial to get that inspection and get your butt into contracts because you are not safe. This piece of paper, again, is worth 25 cents. You're not safe. So then once you're in contract, now you're safe. Now, basically, the whole process from contract to close is similar to Jersey. We just take longer. If anybody wants to ask me why, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I don't know. It's the biggest question. I don't, and my response is, we're from New York. I don't know. We're fast. We talk fast, right? We, we run around fast. But for some dang reason, it's a 60 to 90 day close. I don't, I don't know why, I don't know why, but that's just what it is. It's been like that the, my entire career. Um, okay, so in Staten Island, I guess we'll go through the rest after that. In Staten Island, we don't do what's called a CO. Usually the houses have them or they don't, and we know about it in the beginning, but we do not go and order a CFO. Again, other, I know Jersey does, we do that here. Um, Staten Island, we don't do that. So these are really important things that you have to know and your agent has to know, which me, because I'm the best one ever. This is what I do. So we have to tell the agents in Jersey that when we're actually going to purchase the property, because if they don't know these things, they're going to, and they, they shouldn't know them. That's not their job to know them. Like, right. We're backwards to them. We're backwards. We have to explain these things. So they know like, Hey, it's not going to take time, right? We don't do this here. We don't do that there. Right. So that's your typical close from start to finish in Staten Island. Backwards, I know. Now, in Jersey, you find the house, you do attorney review, which could take as little as 24 hours, as most as, I don't know, 72 hours. Then you sign contracts and you bring your money. Then you do inspections. That's the biggest, biggest difference. Biggest difference in timelines, biggest difference on you're already in contract. You have that freedom to maybe take a couple extra days to do the inspection and you get more inspections done in jersey you're looking at a typical inspections like Staten island um you know house inspection all like the roof the plumbing all of that stuff right your normal inspections um oh there's two really cute dogs outside <laughs> i have to stop for dogs always always um your termites your pest now in jersey there's something called an oil tank sweep you're always i'm always going to recommend to get it you're you should always get it i don't care if they had it Previously, the guy comes and he takes, it looks like a big metal detector and they're basically sweeping for an oil tank or anything metal in the grounds that could essentially be a health hazard or a chemical hazard in the soil, right? That's, a, it's a thing in Jersey. They also do radon in Jersey. We don't have it in Staten Island. They have it in Jersey. Um, a lot further out, there's radon. There's a mitigation system that people could, that you would install um, it's a little scary radon. I've had people back out of houses because of the radon and some people are like, all right, put the mitigation system in, get me another test done. The test says zero, great, perfect, it's done, right? I've even had a radon happen in Freehold, right? I've had one happen in, four, I think it was Fords. It was either Edison or Fords. Um, we didn't move forward in the house in Freehold, we moved forward in the house in Fords, right? So it's gonna be whatever your preference is. Um, let's see, oil tank sweep sewer, well, they have wells, the further you go out in Jersey, there's wells, right, because the public service, the public systems don't hook up that far out, because it's just bigger streets, like, I have sewer right here, and the street across, um, I have septic, and the street across me has sewer, Jersey's weird, I don't know, <laughs> I have no idea, <laughs> um, so those are the differences in inspections, but once, so now, the second part to that question I get asked is, oh, I'm going into contract, but I didn't do an inspection. Like, what if something happens? What's my out? Right? I'm putting 20% down. I'm giving them twenty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000, but I didn't do an inspection, Al. Like, what if the house is shit? It's okay, because as long as we understand what we're writing in the contract, meaning, are we writing in the contract that it's as is? Because if it's as is and there's something wrong, you're fucked. Like they, they do not have to understand that they don't have to do anything, right? So even when where people are bidding 50, 100, all this over and there's multiple offers, I am never going to advise you to get rid of your inspection. I will tell you to do structure. I will advise you again, 
you are the boss, right? I can only advise, and, and your agents can only advise what they know, which is why it's really important to have like a, re a good agent because it could make or break your bank account, your life, right? It's the biggest decision you've ever, the biggest, one of the biggest financial things you've ever done, right? So I'm always gonna recommend, listen, if we're in a tight bidding war and there's crazy amounts of people and everything is, you know, like we've seen recently, right? I'm gonna say structural, mechanical, environmental, without a doubt. Like those are the big ones, structural, mechanical, environmental. I don't really care if the light doesn't work. You shouldn't either, right? You shouldn't care if there's a couple scuff marks here or there, but you should care if there's something structural, mechanical, environmental. There's gonna be extreme, like a lots and lots of money. And if you do an as is, like it, it, it is, you know, if you waive that whole inspection, would you rather waive the whole inspection and end up in a hole of $400,000 because the house is actually falling down and it just looks pretty with pretty colors? Or would you rather be safe and possibly, you know, potentially maybe lose the house to somebody who else would it, right? You have to worry about, you have to be careful with what you're doing. Does that make sense? Um, because if you, if you waive your inspections and there is something majorly wrong, and these people don't want to fix it because they technically don't have to because it's as is. You could be purchasing a house that you're going to have to dump a hundred, two, three, four hundred thousand dollars into it. So be really careful when it comes to that. Um, so in Jersey, we do like seven days to inspection. So if there is something wrong and we didn't write as is, you have an out. And that's your out. It's in the contract. Um, and usually it's like seven to 14 days. The attorneys will, even if we write seven, they'll give you, they'll do like seven to 14 and you'll have an out if something is wrong. Does that make sense? So you'll be able to essentially get out of the deal if, if you have to, or if they won't fix whatever needs to be fixed, that's your out. So that kind of protects you there. The last, the last one is the CFO requirements. Again, if you're just jumping on here, my name is Allison Rowe. I'm a broker in Staten Island, New York with a dual license in New Jersey, and I help people buy and sell homes every single day from Staten Island into New Jersey, because I did it three times. I know, crazy. <laughs> um, and we are going over the differences between Staten Island and Jersey and what my homeowners need to know. There's like a squirrel, it's like a farm out here today. Like I understand, there's like squirrels hopping. I have to close this window, it's like a distraction. Could also just be my ADHD, but there's that. Um, what was I saying? Oh. And I help people every single day move from Staten Island to New Jersey. There are a lot of differences that you wouldn't even think there was because it's right over the bridge. So we went over three. Last one is C of O. We do not order C of O's in Staten Island because the house either has it or they have to get it, right? We don't order them. In New Jersey, once a, I don't want you to get confused. In New Jersey, once you purchase, a, like go into contracts for a property, the seller's agent now orders your CFO, or the seller orders the CFO. Doesn't mean the house doesn't have it, it's not like New York, it means every time there's an exchange, every single time there's an exchange in New Jersey, a CFO has to get ordered and the town has to come in, okay? Hear me when I say that, the town has to come in. If there's homeowners on here in New Jersey right now and you don't know that, and you redo your basement or you add a bathroom, that's how you get caught. Okay, in New York, we don't have that. So we can finish our basements. We can add our bathrooms. We can put our pools in. If they're, two, if they're less than 200 square feet, they don't bother us. So we're not used to, we're not used to the, the toughness in New Jersey because it is tough in some counties, in counties, some towns. Like when I was building this house that I'm sitting in now, oh my God, it was a nightmare. It was an absolute nightmare. And I heard that Hillsborough isn't even wor the worst one. Like, it was a nightmare. So, um, yeah, oh God, I'm getting, I'm getting flashbacks. They're just, they're really tough. They're really tough. Um, that's how you'll get caught. So, anytime you move to New Jersey, they order the C of O. That takes time, right? An agent in New Jersey knows that. An agent in Staten Island doesn't know that, right? So, if, if, you're putting an offer in in, stat, in Jersey and you don't explain to the agent, which remember, this Jersey agent it doesn't know it and they're not supposed to. 
They're going to look at your offer and be like, okay, but you just get into contracts. How much longer is your inspection period? How, that's going to take forever. How, did you even order your CFO? Did you even order your fire cert? We don't do any of that here. And we do inspections prior. So the timelines have to be explained correctly. And I've seen, I actually was speaking to somebody, a homeowner in Staten Island, about three weeks ago. Do you know she lost a deal? Because it wasn't explained properly from one agent to another. The Staten Island agent just assumed, I guess, or I don't know, didn't know. And they didn't take their deal because they just got into contract. So they thought that they were doing inspections. Our inspections are done, right? So it is so important to explain as an agent or having, have, having an agent and when you're going from Staten New Jersey to have an agent that knows both sides because you will lose. You could have the best offer, but this agent is going to think you have to do all these things and you don't, right? And you don't and you'll lose your house for that. So, uh, yeah, that's all. That is, that is, yeah. I, it was horrible. There's also something called an escalation clause. This will be the last thing and then we'll wrap up. Um, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. I'm going over the questions that we had for the week. There's also something called an escalation clause. Another person that I spoke to recently, she wasn't, advi she, she wasn't advised about this. They lost a house in Colts Neck. Um, an escalation clause means you could put an offer on something with an escalation clause up to a certain amount, right? Up to a certain amount, or, I mean, you could leave it open-ended, but you're gonna probably wanna cap that at some point. Meaning that you'll go, let's say you have an escalation clause, you'll go 5,000 more than the highest offer up to a million dollars, okay? Say they get an offer of 990,000, and that's somebody's final offer. You just made your offer 995,000, you win. See where I did, like, that's an escalation clause. Some eight, some people, which I don't know why they don't do it. Some people won't do it. It'll say like on the agent notes, no escalation clauses, which again, I don't know why, because I think it's genius if you really want the house, unless you're doing it to play games, like, oh, I'll just put an escalation clause in it. And if I get it, great. And then I can actually think if I really want to use that. That's probably why actually. Because I have definitely had conversations with people like, I'll just do that. And I'm like, no, don't do it if you don't mean it. Because number one, um, you'll look bad if you pull out. And number two, not that you're not allowed to change your mind, but if you're doing it as a game, you look bad, I look bad, and my reputation's everything, and yours should be too, okay? So that's what an escalation clause is. Um, that's all I got for you today. We, we didn't want to make it too long. If anybody has any questions, my name is Allison Rowe. I am a broker in Southern New York with a dual license in New Jersey. We just went over some of the differences between buying and selling in Staten Island and why it's so important if you're doing it to have an agent know both sides, which is me, me. <laughs> I've done it three times. I rented, I built my dream home. We've had substantial amount of problems doing it. Like, so I kind of have, unfortunately, and fortunately for you, all the knowledge of it. Um, and it's why I do full time. So. If you want to comment the word connect, you will get my simultaneously buying and selling guide. It is streamlined for Staten Island to New Jersey. Will it work for Jersey to Jersey? Yes. Will it work from another place to, to Jersey? Absolutely. Will it work from Staten Island to Staten Island? Absolutely. There's a lot of references of Staten Island in there because, again, that's what I do. So I hope everybody enjoys their Friday. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out, and we will do this again next that didn't go as smooth as I wanted. We'll do this again next Friday. Bye.